Okay then, so sometimes you'll see little navigation breadcrumbs on websites at the top, much like these things right here. And that kind of shows you the path of pages or links that you've come through to get to this page. So we might have gone to the home page first, then documentation, then components, then breadcrumb. So there's loads of different variations of this, as we can see down here. We're going to create one now for our web page, and it's going to go just underneath the navbar over here. So if we come over to the editor, we can see this little comment I've created that says breadcrumbs underneath the nav. This is where we're going to create them. And the first thing I'll do is a div with a class of section just to mark out a new section of the web page. I'm also going to override the padding in the top and the bottom directions. So PT hyphen four and PB hyphen zero. So the padding top is a little bit more than we get from section and it brings it away from the menu a touch more and this strips out the padding at the bottom so there isn't any. Okay, so now the breadcrumbs themselves. This is gonna be a nav tag because if you think about it, the breadcrumbs, if we take a look at these, they're kind of like a navigation in themselves. They have links in them. So let's create a nav and then let's give this a class of bread crumb singular not plural not breadcrumbs breadcrumb okay and then inside here we have a ul and each li tag is gonna be a single link so let's do an anchor tag in the first li we don't need the href and this is going to be coffee ninja so the website itself and then below that i'm going to do another one and this time it's going to be shop and then after that i'll do the final one and that is going to be docker dark roast so that's the particular product that we're on so the home page then you go to shop and then the product page all right so simple breadcrumbs if i save this and take a look let's go over here we can see those breadcrumbs right here okay so i want to style these a little bit differently now we can use different separators in bulma these at the minute are just forward slashes, but we can use like dots and arrows and all that kind of stuff. So if we scroll down here, we can see, for example, we can use this class has bullet separator. Let me copy that and paste it over here and see what that looks like and save it. Preview hours. And now we get bullets instead. We can also use a different one called arrow. So has arrow separator. Save that. And that looks like this. And that's the one. I'm going to keep. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is first of all put this inside a container because if we make this full width, you can see this goes all the way over to the left and I want to bring this in so it's going to sit in a central column of content with the rest of the content when we do that. So let me do that by going back over here and I'm going to give this UL right here a class of container. So class is equal to container like so. Save it and that looks a bit better. I do also want to make the text a little smaller so it's not as obvious. I want it to be more subtle. So let me say is hyphen size hyphen six. So that's quite small text. Save that and I think that made it a little smaller. Let me just bring that way over here so we can kind of see it as we make the change. I'll take this off and save it and okay that had no effect. So let's say instead is hyphen size, hyphen seven, save that. Mm, okay, that looks a bit small. Maybe we don't need to change the size. I think the default size does look okay. All right, so the next thing I want to do is apply a class to this last one to show that, look, this is where we are at the minute. And to do that, we give this li right here a class equal to is hyphen active. So this is the current page we're on. And notice now how that's styled differently. And it doesn't look like a link when we hover over it because we don't get the little hand. All right. So I also want to give these a bit of styling so they're not blue. So these anchor tags right here, they'll each have the same class. So let me alt click in both places, then apply a class to each one of these. And the class is has text hyphen gray. So it's not blue, it's gray instead. And has that worked? No, because I've misspelled gray. Let me change that to an E, save it. And okay, that looks a bit better, cool. And that is just about it, I think. So that's how we can create breadcrumbs. Again, there's lots of different ways that we can make this different. I would advise you to take a look through the documentation and look at these different separators. You can use icons and change different things. But yeah, I think we'll keep it at that for our project.